Now, maybe you're thinking about building a very powerful, small form factor gaming rig, but you want it to have a brand new NVIDIA RTX 50 series video card in it. Well, this site has you covered because they have a pretty comprehensive list here of all the known video cards that would fit in a small form factor case that is, of course, all of the RTX 50 series video cards that would fit in a small form factor case. I will provide the link to this article in the YouTube description down below. However, if you are looking to build a small form factor case around a 5090 video card, then there's only one currently available, and that will be the RTX 5090 Founders Edition. And the dimension for the 5090 video card is 137 by 304 by 40 millimeters. So that fits well within the small form factor video card limit, which is this 151 millimeters by 304 millimeters by 50 millimeters. Now, this is kind of like a side profile of the the coolers, you know, the heat sink and all, and the printed circuit board and the fans. And down at the bottom of the article is a, again, pretty in-depth list. And this list I'm sure will grow over time. And it goes through the different video cards and the dimensions of each of them. So you can refer here if you, you know, want to figure out, will your small form factor case actually be able to accommodate uh, one of these video cards. And I will also provide their source, which is NVIDIA. So you can go over here and go through all of the images and information on NVIDIA's site. There is no doubt about it. There is a tremendous amount of hype over the NVIDIA RTX 50 series video cards, and there is no wonder. They're going to be fast. How much faster? Who knows? We will all have to wait and see when reviewers get this and pit these top video cards, the 50 80s and the 50 90s up against the last generation, for example, the 4080s and the 4090s. We'll see, we'll actually see how much faster they are. If they are only 20 or 30 percent faster, that's not going to impress, I wouldn't imagine, most people. Now, if you don't have a last generation video card, like for example, an NVIDIA RTX 40 series, should you upgrade to a 50 series? Well, that's going to be completely up to you, but I would personally hold off and see how much faster they are. I think personally the 5090 is going to be an absolute monster. Maybe it will be 70% faster than the 4090. Again, I don't know, just a guess. You know, a lot of high hopes all across the board for these 50 series video cards. You know, people are looking at the 5060s all the way up to the 5090s. It really depends, of course, on your budget. But yeah, it's uh, it's interesting stuff. And I would also like to hear from you on this. And do you have any more information? If you do, please share it all with us. And keep in mind that when you leave a comment, be respectful. 